What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the PS4 safe mode loop. So this has been happening on the PS4 consoles over the past couple of years. I actually went through this problem where it happened like once a year. And I know a ton of people are still experiencing this problem today in 2022. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some fixes that hopefully will help you get back onto your PS4 console and not getting into that loop over and over. So let's get on to the video so what you want to do first is completely turn off your ps4 and once you have done that you want to press and hold the power button to hear one beep and then continue holding on to that power button until you hear a second beep once you've heard that second beep you will now be in safe mode so after it is going to ask you to connect your controller via the usb cable and once you've done that you'll get prompted this screen right here where you have seven options so you have restart ps4 change resolution update system software restore default settings rebuild database initialize ps4 and then initialize ps4 as well as it will also reinstall the system software so the one i recommend you guys test out first is the update system software which is the third one so if that one doesn't work you want to try the restore default settings if that one doesn't work you want to use the rebuild database and then if that one doesn't work this is the like basically um the last resort you want to go to is the initialized ps4 so basically from three to five those will not you will not lose any data on your ps4 at all so all your game files your saves uh files will all be there but if you do select either the sixth or seventh one um, the initialized PS4 is going to completely reset your PS4. So um, it's basically going to be like the first day you bought your PS4 fresh, nothing on it, no data or anything. So you will lose all your stuff on it, unfortunately. But um, that is what I actually had to do. So when I actually had a PS4, I don't have any more, obviously. Um, I did actually get the safe mode to loop like about, I think, two to three times. It got really annoying. And then obviously some of you guys may be able to use some of the other options so from three to five which is like do the restore default settings or rebuild database that might get you guys out of safe mode to loop but for me unfortunately every single time i've experienced this issue i've had to initialize ps4 resulting me into lose all my games all my data and stuff like that fortunately but uh this is the, the fix uh for you guys uh test out all the options like i said in order so go from the third one all the way down to the sixth one if you have to so the initialized ps4 kind of um, i'm going to kind of explain this again so for the initialized ps4 only use this one um if none of the other options are working for you guys but there you guys have it hope you guys did enjoy this one if it did work for you leave it down below in the comment section so you guys can let other people know that this video does work and is legit drop a like on it hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video that's basically it and i'll see you guys in the next one